CBB's Bedtime Story. Wish I'd caught something. Oh, hello. I'm David. I was just saying, I was wishing that I'd caught something when I was fishing today. Wouldn't have minded what I'd caught, just something. A welly boot would have been useful. Rains a lot this time of year, and I've already lost one of my wellies. Look, look at that. A bicycle might have been a bit big to catch, but I really could do with a new bicycle. The little girl in tonight's story likes going fishing. And she likes wishing, too. Let's find out what she wishes for. The story is by Stephen Mackey and is called Mickey. A long time ago, and very far away, there was a place that was always cold and dark. Nothing grew in this icy world. I wish we could find just a little tree said Mickey to Penguin. At once, a little tree sprang up in front of them. But the tree looked lonely and bare. Mickey and Penguin took it home. I wish we had some pretty lights to cheer it up, said Mickey. A string of fairy lights suddenly appeared. Mickey draped them over the little tree. If only we could make them twinkle, she said. The very next moment, a twinkle machine appeared. Penguin climbed aboard and pedalled faster and faster. The little lights began to glitter, throwing sparkly beams over the snow. But soon, Penguin's feet were tired and sore. The pretty lights faded. We need someone stronger, he sighed. Mickey and Penguin jumped. Polar Bear appeared from nowhere. He was the strongest creature in the land, and beside him was a windmill. Polar Bear huffed and puffed, and the little light shone bright. But even the strongest creature can run out of breath. Soon, the three friends were in darkness again. I wish, said Mickey, as she fished for supper, I could catch a star. A star would shine forever. All of a sudden, there was a big tug on her rod, and Mickey was gone. Help, called Penguin. Polar Bear looked into the fishing hole. Mickey was nowhere to be seen. But down in the deep blue ocean, Mickey was safe in the magic of midwinter eve. A gentle giant was taking her on a journey. She gazed with awe at the strange, wonderful creatures. There were sea urchins, eels and jellyfish. Oh dear, cried Mickey. But he only wanted to show them the way. He waved his tingly-tangly tentacles. We're here, said the gentle giant. Mickey dreamily floated down until she reached the ocean floor. Back on the ice, Polar Bear bravely decided to dive down to search for Mickey. Down, down he went, but there was no sign of his little friend. On the ocean floor, Mickey had fallen asleep, safely snuggled inside a sea flower. She was awoken by a gentle tickle. A tiny octopus danced in front of her. Come with me, he said. Mickey parted the petals. A wonderful sight met her eyes. In front of her were a hundred twinkling stars. Back on the ice, Polar Bear popped back through the hole. No sign of her, he sighed. I wish I could dive down, said Penguin. At once, Penguin found himself dressed in a little penguin diving suit. Lower me down, polar bear, he cried. Down he went. All the time he looked about him, calling out for his friend. But his voice was too small to be heard. Penguin had never been so deep in the sea before. The watery world was full of strange and fearsome creatures. Pull me up, polar bear, he cried. Polar bear hauled him up. Just in time. No sign of her, said Penguin, sadly, but we must never give up. At the bottom of the ocean, the magic was wearing thin. Mickey knew it was time to go home. The tiny octopus took her to his mother. Polar Bear was just getting ready to search again when there was a rumble, a splinter, and a crack. The little fishing hole was opening up. Bigger and bigger. 
The ice started to move beneath their feet and the ground heaved and shattered. And the biggest creature the friends had ever seen shot out of the fishing hole. There, nestled safely in its long arms, was Mickey. Just in time, for it was nearly midnight and the magic was running out. And in Mickey's pocket was a sparkling star. A star that would shine forever. On midwinter eve, when the icy wind blew, the moon weaved her magic and wishes came true. The little star shone for all it was worth and spread midwinter light all over the earth. And that story was called Mickey. Oh, oh, oh! Oh, look! I've caught a shining star. A star that can shine all night long while you sleep and have lovely dreams of polar bears and penguins and octopi. I'll see you soon for another story. Night night. Now what else can I catch? Mm. I wish, I wish I can catch the moon. <laughs>